president of INO.com and co-creator of Market Club with your video market update for Wednesday, the 6th of March. Well, I tell you, we're getting slammed here with very, very heavy winds. It's a major sort of winter storm, the last kick of the season probably, and uh, it's tough. We don't have everybody in the offices today because of uh, weather-related issues. But uh, let's start with Chavez is dead. The Dow hits new highs and nobody is cheering. So what's going on with these markets? We'll be looking at all the major markets like we normally do. We'll also be looking at what's going on in the oil market and how you can play the market without actually playing oil. I'll show, explain that in just a moment. So let's go right to our portfolio page. And you can see right away that we do have all of our indices, the Dow, the index, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ, all green. That's plus 90, plus 100, plus 90. So very strong trends in all of these markets. So let's go right to the S&P 500. You can see the action today. Very strong day yesterday. Kind of broke out from this little base, this little energy field that is creating. And it looks as though we can see this market actually improve from these levels, um, perhaps later in the week. But generally speaking, it looks like this market wants to go higher. We're looking for this. We had a target zone of uh, 1550 to uh, 1560. It looks like we're going to get that. So the next big number here is going to be the 1600. And can we reach that number? Well, I think you have to measure from this level right here let's say 1480 to the highs that we had here around 15, 20, 25. And so that's 45. So I'm going to stick with the these areas here. They're 1460, maybe even 70, let's say 70. But I think that's going to be an area that the market probably is going to slow down with, at least for the moment. So let's just clear the screen off and go to our next market. And the next market we're going to be looking at is the Dow, of course. That's been the darling of the markets. Um, very strong markets, but you do have some laggards in there. But new highs on the Dow. You do have this nice base, this sort of nice sideways market. We talked about this is a daily chart we're looking at, but this nice sort of sideways market, this market, really, that's just energy built up there. Of course, we broke out uh, yesterday. That's the first day when people uh, were saying the sequestration, of course, and then basically it's like, like well, market's going higher. What happened to sequestration? Well, nobody from the administration came out and said, well, things are going better because that's not their position. Generally speaking, the trend is your friend. New highs in the Dow equal higher levels. We're looking for this market to go to the 14,600 level and even the 148 level. So let's see how that plays out. But generally speaking, the trend is your friend. All of our trade triangles are positive. I think we have a, a plus 100 reading on this and the trend in all the indexes right now in the states are pointing to higher levels so let's just clear the screen and go to the nasdaq we have a lot to cover today so let's jump through these pretty quickly the nasdaq is pretty much the same picture a little bit of heaviness a little profit taking coming in apples down again today which is definitely weighing on this index but generally speaking we look for this index to be dragged up along with the other ones. But the leader is the Dow, followed by the S&P, followed by the NASDAQ. So moving along to crude oil. Crude oil, again, under pressure below the 90 handle, 89.91. It's trying to carve out a base. But look at how this market's acting. You are sort of beginning the very early stages of sort of sideways action. Clearly at 91 right here, there's resistance. And it looks to me like around 89 uh, let's just put that back in there. It looks to me like 89, maybe 50. There's some sort of support. So let's see how that plays out. But we're going to be looking at a stock right now. And we'll go there right now. Is I think fascinating. I'll tell you the reason why. Because it's going to offer some really great opportunities in my mind. Um, and this is Transocean. We talked about this before. Transocean is a Symbols rig, what they do is actually have drilling rigs. And what's interesting about this market, let's just take this Fibonacci off. We don't need that right now. So what's interesting about this market is up today. And it has made, I think, a somewhat of a little bit of a turn here. But if we scope this out even further, is, and we let's just take some of these studies off there. We don't need the Donchian trade channels. We don't need the parabolic. But uh, what we want to look at is a very simple line chart and if you draw a simple trend line, which you can do very easily with Market Club, from the highs, let's just scope this out to maximum, from the highs, which are back, way back here, just draw a simple trend line. You see how it hits all these, you know, we, we always like to see trend lines hit three spots. And so here you are. Here's the three spots, and actually it's four. You've broken the momentum. The momentum's turned up. 
our trade triangles, you've got the monthly is a long-term trend. That's now positive. This intermediate term trend is a little bit negative. It's actually red. And, but it really looks like it wants to go higher in my opinion. So let's see how this shapes up. A couple of things you want to look at, and let's just clear the screen, but we have broken out on the upside based on this long-term trend line. Now the long-term trend line came in from, let me just get this right, came in from, let me just scope that in like that, came in from the highs that were set in 2008, right here. This is when oil was trading around, I think, $140 a barrel. So we're quite a bit down from there, but this is also the explosion in the Gulf with BP. This is the this is the rig that was BP was on, and it was not necessarily the, the rig's fault. It was, I think it's more BP's fault, but ne nonetheless, the bottom line is they took a hit, a huge hit. They went from this level here, 160, all the way down to 40. That's a huge huge pullback in the stock. And you can see from there on, it's just sort of been going sideways. Now, I think we could very easily get up to this 80, 90, even $100 range again in the stock. And here, it's a Swiss company. It's traded on the NYSE. The symbol is RIG. And I'll show you what is a key level to look at in this market. So let's just clear the screen and let's just uh, take the this trend line off. We don't need that. And let's scope this in closer. Let's put up, I'll put our trade triangles in. You can see them. 55 trading range. The long term is up. Intermediate term is down. Very short term is up. But let's just scope this in even closer. And this is what I want to show you. Here we go. So this is the key level to look at. And it's, it's almost like it's written in stone for us. So let's just get, let me get my Telestrator back on. So if you look at the 60 level right here, this is where the markets had real problems here in here okay it also had problems here around the trend line if you scope this out even further it also had problems here now if you want to be conservative at seven dollars away if and when this market goes over 60 it's a slam dunk because the reality is venezuela chavez passed away venezuela has the largest offshore oil reserves in the world more than saudi arabia so it's huge 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 with Chavez gone, they'll want to pay back some of the money. They're in desperate need of making money. I mean, it's been rumored that Chavez put away $2 billion for his family, which would not surprise me. That's what dictators normally do, is loot the treasury. And their oil company, their, their public oil company, which is PDVSA, is in shambles. It's filled with uh, cronies from Chavez's empire. Inflation is running at 25% a year, which is incredible, but they'll want to pay back this money. So I think even if oil prices go down, this particular stock can go higher because there'll be more demand for them, their drilling rigs. And I think that's a positive. If oil goes up, if the equity markets continue to go up, demand will also come back in. So there'll be still more demand. So I think no matter what happens, I think there's potentially for this stock to go back up to what we're looking at is somewhere, well, certainly this would be the eight, first stop, $85, which is this previous high right here. And I think we could even see this market at $100, which is a doubling where we are right now. So watch Transocean. Put it on your radar screen. Watch it. We like it. We like the fact the longer term trend is up. Once we see the intermediate term triangle turn green, uh, we would want to buy this market. So let's watch that very carefully in the, in the next week or so. So let's clear the screen, go to our next market. And some other interesting markets, too. We like... Uh, we still think the market's uh, going up. This is gold. Let's just close in on gold real closely because I want to show you something there. And look at how quiet this market has been for the last five days, going nowhere. So we may be in the first stages of trying to build a base or putting the foundation for a base to go higher. want to watch it very carefully. Obviously, there's still a lot of uncertainty in this market. You can see how it's sort of we had the breakout, it's come back down. It's back to an area right here around the 1550, 1530 level, which is good support historically going back to October of 2011. So I think, generally speaking, we're back to an area that we may find support. But however, there are some negatives. We've broken some long term trend lines. You can just simply put them in uh, with your market club tools like this. So we've broken some long term trend lines. And I think that's a, you also have a trend line down here. So you could say, okay, what do we do now? I think you wait until you see some of these indicators right here turn green. That's the key thing. That's going to be the, that's going to be the kickoff. We did some surveys 
uh, polls on our website, and most of you said we want to wait and see a turnaround in the market. I think that's a very, very positive thing to say. So let's just uh, go to our next market. And the next market we're looking at is the euro against the dollar. And this could be a real interesting play. Now, we actually got a nice move up on the upside here, but you see our weekly, which is the one we really pay attention to. Let me put that in for you. Let me scope it in, first of all, very closely. And let's put the weekly in. Now, this is the one, <coughs> this is the one we watch very carefully. We like to trade on the weekly and with the daily on this market. So you can see the weekly kicked in here. Uh, 133. Uh, the market's currently trading at 129.86. That's below the 130 handle, a big psychological level. This would be a new low close. And I think partly this is all because of what's going on in Italy. Italy could be a real catalyst in pulling out of the euro and just saying goodbye and going back to the Italian lira or something very close to that. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting picture. So watch this very, very carefully. And we're getting close to seeing the monthly, the long-term monthly trade triangle turn red. So watch that very, very carefully. So let's go to our next market. This is Google. We've liked Google. Uh, you can see there's our weekly kicked in there. Our, our, we kicked in our monthly at 642. You can see we get nice profits in here from 758. It's currently trading at 831. Looks like a possible dark cloud cover. Too early to say, but the trend is your friend. We're still looking for Google possibly trade up to $900 a share. There'll be people talking at that point in time, $1,000 on Google. Not so sure that's going to happen, but we certainly like this market. It's number one in search, and it's number one in the smartphone market with the Android capturing about 75% of that market. So it looks good to us on the upside. Now, going on to Apple, which is the opposite side of the coin, this market is still struggling. You can see it's down today. It's pulling a little bit on the NASDAQ index as a weighs about 5% of the, about 10% of the NASDAQ. So we're getting there. We would not be surprised to see Apple trade down to about the $400 level. But I think at that point in time, it probably represents good value, but we'd want to see some technical action. Just say it's turning around. Here you are. All of our triangles are red, indicating the trend is down. It's likely to continue down. And it's probably a short today if you are so inclined. So let's go to our next market. This is Netflix. We like Netflix. You can see it's had a, let's scope this out to a six month chart and even a one-year chart. You can see you had this nice big base. You can see where we kicked in here on the monthly and on the weekly. Never look back. So we're long from 84, 95 on the monthly and 89.78, currently trading almost $100 higher than our original buy point. And we think this can go to the 200, 220, even the 250 level. If you go out all the way, maximize this and you'll see it has been up to 300. So going to 250 is not out of the question. People are watching more and more entertainment at home and on their tablets. So Netflix is definitely one to watch. Moving along to Amazon. Amazon's number one. I'm going to take some of these off. But Amazon's number one. You can see it's made new highs. It's pulled back a little bit. Let's scope this in closer. You can see you just had this little pivot point. And let me just show you what that means. This is, I think it's a very nice formation to look at. So you've had the pivot point like this. You've gone over the pivot point, so we could measure from this level here, 255, up to the pivot point. I'm going to call that uh, 270, just uh, just on occasion. So it means if we 270, 255, that's 15. We could go to the 85 level, which takes it right up to these levels right here. So we could see that going to that level. We also are looking for this market to move higher, and that noise you hear in the background is probably the wind. But we could see this going to 220, even 250 on Amazon. Uh, on this market, we see, I, show, I beg your pardon, we could see Netflix going quite a bit, Amazon, excuse me, Amazon going quite a bit higher up to the 300, 320 level from where we are right now. So let's uh, let's watch that one carefully. So let's close our, take this clean, clean up, but the next, you see the next level we're looking at, but let's just clear this off and go to, that's the end of our update today for the 6th of March. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay warm, stay safe if you're in this area where the snow is coming down.